Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to day 15 of Decktober. Today we're looking at a $20 ultra budget Talrand Sky Summoner deck tech. Talrand is a 2 2 merfolk wizard that says whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 2 2 blue drake creature token with flying. So this deck is all about playing every instant and sorcery you own, playing the cards to cheapen those instants and sorceries, and creating a flying bird army to fly over your opponent's face for the victory royale. Now, let's get right into the budget deck tech. As always with this budget brew, we're starting off with all of that ramp. First up, we've got Mannequin to add a colourless to your mana pool, and Palladium Mirror to add two to your mana pool. There is Silver Mirror to tap and add an island, and Carfell Harbinger to tap and add an island to spend on four Tau spells and those lovely instants and sorceries. We've got High Tide that says until the end of your turn, islands produce an additional island when tapped for mana, and Ur Golem's Eye to tap and have two mana to your pool. There's Sisage Ring to tap for 2 mana, and Sky Diamond that ETB's tapped, but you can tap it in the future for those islands. We've got Mind Stone to add 1 mana to your mana pool, with an additional option to sack and draw a card. And finally, we have Soul Ring. Because, Soul Ring. Before we get on to our instant and sorcery army, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for all things MTG. It's completely free to do, and it helps our channel grow and grow as we head towards 2,000 subscribers. Now we're looking at every instant and sorcery in our deck, and you bet there is a button. Starting with instant and sorcery recursion, we have Call to Mind and Flood of Recollection to return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand, with Flood of Recollection being exiled after. There's game plan to have each player shuffle their hand and graveyard into their library, then drawing 7 cards, and relearn to return target instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. These recursion cards are so important, as not only are we getting these vital cards back, but these are instants and sorceries themselves, so we're getting those Tower Run triggers too. There is Distant Melody to choose a creature type and draw a card for each permanent you control of that type, and Brainstorm to draw three and put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. There is Obsessive Stitch to draw a card, with that payable madness cost, and Reach Through Mists to draw a card. For more card draw, there is Think Twice to draw a card, with that added flashback option, and Preordain to scry two and draw a card. We've got classic blue card ops to scry one and draw a card, and behold the multiverse to scry two, draw two, and you've got that foretell mechanic to exile and cast at a later time. For a nice army maker, we've got Rise from the Tides to put a 2 2 black zombie token onto the battlefield tapped for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. And Sleep to tap each creature target player controls, with those creatures not untapping during that player's next untap step. We've added in Aetherize to return all attacking creatures to their owner's hands, and Blink of an Eye to return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, with that kicking option to draw a card. Remember, every instant and sorcery is not only helping our board state by clearing our opponents out or drawing us cards, but also creating a 2-2 bird army for each, which is absolutely key. For some more creature returners, we have Into the Royal to return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, and also drawing a card if it was kicked, and Unsummon for some more creature returning action. Now it is time for some endless counterspell action with the iconic counterspell and rewind to counter target spell when tapping up to 4 lands. There's Sauric coming to counter target spell with that added foretell mechanic option and Supreme Will to counter target spell unless its controller pays 3 with a second option to look at the top 4 cards of your library, putting one in your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library. We have Cancel to counter target spell and Negate to counter target non-creature spell. From Onslaught, there is Discombobulate to counter target spell and look at the top 4 cards of your library, putting them back in any order, and Dissolve to counter target spell and scry 1. There's Lofty Denial to counter target spell unless its controller pays 1, paying 4 if you control a creature with flying, and Memory Drain to counter target spell and scry 2. We want a bucket load of counter spells in this deck, as our main army will be those bird tokens from our instants and sorceries that we'll be getting from those Tower Run triggers. And because of this, we'll want to control the board, stopping our opponents from building any sort of momentum whilst building our flying army. Finally, for our final two counter spells, there is Disdainful Stroke to counter target spell with mana value 4 or greater, and Mana Leak to counter target spell unless its controller pays 3. Now we've looked at those instants and sorceries, let's look at the instant and sorcery loving cards as well. Starting with Arcane Melee to make each instant and sorcery spell cost 2 less to cast, which is absolutely huge and Jace's Sanctum to make instants and sorceries cost one less to cast, while also getting to scry one whenever you cast those lovely instant and sorcery spells. There's Nalad of Hidden Coves, that says as long as it's not your turn, instant and sorcery spells cost one less to cast, and Precognition Field to look at the top card of your library anytime, and you may play that card if it's an instant or sorcery. 
You may also pay three to exile the top card of your library if you want that card option gone. There is Deca Fractal Theorist. This is whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a Nought Nought Fractal token. Put plus one plus one counters on it, where X is that spell's mana value. And you can pay to make target token creature unblockable this turn. And there's Murmuring Mystic that creates you a 1-1 flying illusion bird whenever you cast an instant or sorcery. We've also added in Archeomancer for even more instant and sorcery recursion when it ETBs. And Mnemonic Wall, a 0-4 defender that when ETBs also gives you some more instant and sorcery recursion options. Finally we have Precinct Chimera, a 3-4 flyer that allows you to scry one whenever you cast those instant and sorcery cards. Before we move on to the lands we're looking at the best of the rest in this budget brew. First up we have Guile, a huge 6-6 elemental that can't be blocked except by 3 or more creatures. It also says if a spell or ability you control would counter a spell, instead exile that spell and you may play that card without paying its mana cost. With our army of counter spells, this could be huge. And Stormtide Leviathan, a personal favourite card of the channel, to make creatures without flying or island walk unable to attack. Our flying bird army and island walk monster will be just fine. There is Favourable Winds, to give creatures you control with flying plus one plus one, and Fog Bank, a 0-2 wall with flying and defender, this is prevent all damage dealt to and dealt by Fog Bank. This is the perfect never ending chump blocker to have in a deck where our main goal is to have minimal non-token creatures to help protect our life total whilst we build up our bird army. There is Arcanus the Omnipotent to tap and draw 3 cards and Gadwick the Wizens the ETBs and you draw 3 cards. It also says whenever you cast a blue spell, tap target non-land permanent and opponent controls. There is Wave Break Hippocamp, this says whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, draw a card. An Ominous Seize that says whenever you draw a card, put a 4 shadow counter on Ominous Seize and you can remove 8 counters off Ominous Seize to create an 8-8 blue Kraken creature token. There is Reconnaissance Mission that says whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. That you may also cycle. And the Miriari Conjecture for some instant recursion, some sorcery recursion and on that stage 3 of the saga, until the end of your turn whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you copy it and you may choose new targets for that copy. Finally we have Elixir of Immortality for one last bit of recursion to get your whole graveyard back in your library and gain 5 life. As we do in every budget brew we're rounding off this deck by looking at all of the lands that Taurant has to offer. In this deck we are rocking 36 basic lands. And that's it. We're trying to make this the most hyper budget brew of the month and all we need for this mono blue boy are 36 of the coolest islands going. Talrant is a really strong commander option and a deck that will be very fun to pilot as it's not only a cheap deck to buy but one that will get stronger and stronger as the game goes on. And who doesn't love always holding on to a deadly counter spell to make your opponent's hair turn grey before your very eyes? Be sure to check out day 16 tomorrow where we'll be looking at a mono red damage dealer. There we have it, that is the $20 extreme budget Talrant deck tech. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for all things MTG. Check out our link tree in the description below for all of our social media and affiliate links. For now though, I'm all tapped out, so I'll see you in the next video.